Hi everybody, it's Lisa here. Hey, it's time for another junk journal lesson for our Winter Birds um, journal that we've been doing. And this is this is um, part number five. So, all right, let's get started. I know that I haven't been on here for a while and I apologize for that. Just been busy and haven't had time. Have other things going on. So, we are going to be working on this page here. This and this page. We're going to do two pages today. So what I want to do on this page is I want to do kind of like a fold over kind of um, envelope type of page. And then on this other page here, I wanted, I wanted us to make one of these envelopes. And um, I'm going to put this on here to make a little a double tuck spot or an envelope on this page. And then I have another idea for this page. Okay, so what I want to do for this is I'm going to use this file folder. I'm just kind of measuring, taking a little bit off of the end, kind of measuring it how big I want it to be on the page. No. Alright, I'm going to cut off just, um, just about like that. over. So I want it to be um, about this big. Like that. And I got this really cool corner punch that I got over at um, Value Village. I thought this was kind of cool. It, it punches a really neat little scalloped type of edge. Isn't that cute? It's just perfect. It's just really cute. I'm just gonna give that some squeeze there. Do this one. And I got my little corners on here. It's kind of cute. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and ink that. Ink it, ink it, ink it. Ink it all up. This is usually the time where I ask, how is everybody doing? I hope everybody is doing well. I had fun yesterday. I went with a friend out. We went to some antique shops and we went to some thrift stores and we stopped over at Valley Village. So, and then I got a few things and she got a few things. Uh, it's pretty fun. I've been uh, preoccupied these days. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but I started the keto diet, um, oh, like two years ago. And it got actually put on hold because of because when I broke my leg and everything, it, it just, I kind of went off of it for a little while. And I've been back on it, so I've been reading a lot of videos and watching a, a lot of videos about keto. And, and so that's what kind of I've been pre preoccupied with these days. And I thought, oh, I gotta get on here. I gotta get this. I gotta get a video out. It's been a while, you know. So, having okay, it put that on there, and then what I thought was putting some paper on here, and I come up with this sort of paper, this pink paper, and I think I'll just cut a little strip off, a little skinny strip. Oh, about two inch strip off this big piece. I know I hate to waste a big piece like this for just a little scrap, but I liked it and I wanted to use it. So it's what I want to do. Alright, and then I think I'll do is put this on here. Let me cut this so this will fit on here. You know me, how I eyeball things. And I wanted to put that on there. And I got this little bird that I thought about. I put him on here too. And then we could open this up and then have journaling in here. And I'm thinking about putting some paper on the inside real quick. Let's see here. Some, some dyed paper with lines on it. 
Let me see what I got over here. Oh, here's here's some paper lines. Okay. Well, and what we could do is put this on. Um, oh, you know what? Actually, I'm trying to think because I, I did this before. You know, I'm trying to think of how I did this. Now I remember. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and glue this on. I'm thinking about um, taking the corners with this little cute little thing again. And cut the little corners. Oh, I just think it's so pretty. Love that. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, get the, make sure I get the little crumbs out of here. <laughs> There's one stuck there. Oh well. Um, okay, so we're gonna glue that on like that, and I'm gonna try and use my PVA glue. This glue has not been coming out very good for me, so I might change the cap on it. I'll do that. I'll be right back. What I do was, was when this happens and gets all clogged and I get I get sick and tired of dealing with it. So I just take the thing off, throw it away. <laughs> as easy as that. And then I put this back on it. Now you get off. My cat's up here. I'm trying to get up here. Little Emmett. We have two cats, they're brothers. One's Emmett and one's Ollie. And Emmett is the black one and he's... <laughs> they're both just troublemakers. I mean, seriously. They are terrible. They do all kinds of bad things. Get into stuff. They were way worse when they were kittens, but oh my goodness. We survived it. And they're all going to be two um, around April 1st is their birthday. I'm going to put that on there. I like that edge. I think that's really cute. So I'm trying to think, because see, I did another one exactly like this. I'm trying to remember how I did this and how it looked. Because it seemed like all this was, was I put an item on here like this. And it seemed like I glued this part down and this was a tuck spot for something. And that's what I'm trying to figure out. I'm thinking that I will glue um, just a little bit down. I'm going to say go up about half an inch right here right here. I kind of want it just to be a little tuck spot for some pretty paper is what I'm trying to go for here. All right, let's go ahead and put the clips on. Oops. Those on. And then I'm going to glue the bird on so he's kind of in between the two. This. And, uh, and then I'm going to take some paper, some, some tea dyed paper that's like a solid tea dyed. Let's see, I'm going to find some. Um, solid tea dyed paper to tuck in there. So, okay, this is really interesting. This is like a, one of my wrinkled, wrinkled papers that I did when I made, uh, I tea dyed it and then I wrinkled it up and made it kind of a wrinkly looking page and I think I'll use this to tuck in here in a second. Okay. So then that's gonna Bert's gonna go here and only half of him is gonna get glued on. I gotta remember how to measure that so that I know I don't go over, you know. Okay. So it's about from here. Um, let's see here. I always have a hard time with this part of it. Alright, I'm just going to go from his head down. Like this. Like that. And then glue him on. Right there. Like that. And then I'm going to go under here. Finish what I couldn't see before. Put that down. I don't want it to be totally glued here. I just kind of want it down like that and not glue his tail. But... Like 
Okay. All right, let me take these off and see how much glue this is. Yeah, that's how I want it. All right, now I'm going to glue... See, I'm trying to think, you know, I could leave it to where you could tuck something in here if you wanted to. And so I'm just going to glue the three edges here. Glue that down. Get the top part open. See, I changed that lid and it's looking pretty good now. I like it. I, I, you know, I can't stand it if it's plugged up. And you know what? If I have to do too much work to do it, then forget it. I'm taking it off. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm gonna put that on. Look at that. Okay. It's, it's mainly going to be just a tuck spot. Is mainly what this is going to be. A tuck spot for another paper. That's going to be this paper. So that's mainly what I'm going for with this. Um, so on this, I'm going to fold it and maybe cut the top and trim it in a pretty way. Um, let me see, I need to find out. So you want to do it, you want to fold it in a tri, tri fold. And then this part. It's going to go here. And what I want to do on this end, since this is going to be the, the pretty part, let me measure it real quick. See. So this is going to tuck in here actually, like this. So I want to cut probably here off. So I want to cut some off of it so it fits nicely in there. Okay. Look at that. Um, a little bit more because I want it to be right around there. Okay, I want it to tuck perfectly in there. So I'm going to hand go ahead with that. And Unfold it, and then I'm gonna fold it there, and down here um, I'm gonna trim it a little bit on the end. Okay, let me see. I I'm confused about what I'm doing. Okay, so down there. Then this I'm going to cut as a flap, and I'm gonna just cut it so it's a little bit shorter on the end like this and then I'm going to use my scallop scissors and make a, a decorative little cut on this. I can find my scissors. Got everything I need right right handy dandy here. So so I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to trim. Um, let me see. I'm going to trim it at an angle. And then I'm going to trim it in the front. Now these these are really great to have, you guys. If you can get your hands on some of these scissors, they're really neat because then you can. So that's what I'm going for right there. I'm going to we're going to tuck it in, and I'm going to anyway. I'm going to ink the edges, and you know what's a little bit. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller here. here because I really what I'm trying to think about is that I want it to stick out a little bit. I want us to be able to see the, the decorativeness of that. So let's go ahead and ink this. And you know, honestly, you can actually fold this any way that you you really want to fold it because it's just going to be a paper that you're going to take out and journal on and put it back in. So it's like whatever you want to do with it, it's perfectly awesome. No matter what you do with it, it's perfectly awesome. And then do the edges on this. I know I hate to, to bore you guys with all this inking, but it is important to do it. You know, it really is. So it looks really good that way. It looks old and it looks finished, you know. So, uh, so anyways, so this is just going to fit like right in here, just like that. And that's going to be all we're going to do on that page, you know, because and it's glued, so it's not going to come up. And then I left a spot here. For
Started on this one, and I'm going to take my paper, move that other side here, and I'm going to fold it in, fold it in again, about like that. Okay, and then I'm going to open it up, and I'm going to take my scissors, and I'm going to cut right where this fold is. I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut in. Oh, let me see. Okay, right where the fold is, right here, I'm going to cut out at an angle and then straight back. And then this one, where the fold is, I'm going to cut like a corner and then fold up about a um, half an inch, a little bit less than a half an inch. So it's going to look like this. So I'm going to now this folds, we know that this folds like this, and this is going to fold up like that, okay? And we're going to glue this in a minute, but what I want to do here is I want to take these two ends, put those two ends together. Wait, no, 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 no. I want to, my center is right here. This is my, the width that I want it. So I'm going to take that part there. I'm going to just... Mark with a pencil so I know where that is. That I know where that is. Then I'm gonna I'm gonna um, join these together, and then I'm going to cut it. And I'm gonna cut it. Uh, I'm believing that I'm going to cut it from the fold side in. Yeah, to get it to get that. I'm thinking. I'm hoping that this is this is right because. All right, I'm going to go ahead and snip it, corner to corner. Oh, and that's not right. Mm. Okay, so instead of making a V, I was going to make um, actually an arrow the other way. So, well, okay. I'm going to go ahead and get up. Well, yeah, I'll just ink it up. Uh, this isn't really actually how I wanted this to go. I wanted it to be like this. And what you would do is instead of me cutting it like I did from the corner, from the folded, folded side up, you're going to cut it from, you're going to cut it from the folded side down. You're going to do it the opposite way to get it to have this flap like this is here. And this ended up being a triangle. Um, you know what? I'm just going to redo it. I'm just going to get another piece. I'm going to redo it because I really want it done a certain way. I really do. And because that kind of defeats the purpose of how I'm trying to show you guys how to do it in the first place because it's not going in the right direction. Okay. Got another paper here. All right. Let's try it again. Okay. So we want it to look like this. It looks like that. All right, go ahead and fold it. How we're going to do it? I'm going to fold it in about like that. Fold this part in, not all the way in, about leaving a little, a little bit of an inch there. It's kind of like that. And then we're going to fold it over, cut it. center where the folds are that's where we want the front to be okay I'm going to take that and then we're going to line up where the where I marked these lines at um, where the folds are just that part just that part there then we are going to um, Okay, I'm going 
to. We're going to cut from the top to the into the fold. Oh, I think I think is that right? Nope, it's wrong again. <laughs> oh well, you know what? I'm going to just use this. I'm going to use this envelope here. And oh man, I cut it in a way that the opposite of what I just did. And I did it I did it wrong both times. So, you're going to cut it to make this envelope and I'm not sure how to do it. <laughs> Sorry guys, I don't know how to do it. So okay, I'm gonna go ahead and um, glue this on. I'm just, like I was telling you before, I'm just angrily challenged sometimes. And this is one of those moments and I'm sorry I'm, okay. And I'm gonna just put this on like this. Okay, glue that on. Then I got this really cute picture that I got from a card that I'm gonna just glue that on too. It's cute. And then we'll have a, a dual tuck spot here. And I'm just gonna glue around all the edges here to where it's just a tuck spot in the front. Okay. Now you got two tuck spots. You got this tuck spot and this tuck spot. Let's see. Let's see. I can put this in here and this one in here. Just an idea. Yeah, it's just an idea. And then, uh, and this, of course, you can put something in here too. Just an idea like that. Okay. All right. So we got both of these done today, and this is mainly what I wanted to show you was doing these and um and that's lesson number five so anyway this is kind of what we've done it's what we're doing um i'm gonna take a break after this after this one here and i'm gonna next time you see me we're gonna be doing valentine cards because i since valentine's day is coming up i want to make about three different different styles of valentine cards and um we'll do that for probably the next two um, videos maybe and then we'll get back to doing our bird journal here our junk journal birds so anyway I'm um, hoping that you guys are having a great day um, if you like what, what I'm working on and what I'm doing here give me a thumbs up um, you can subscribe and leave a comment I would love that so much and uh, so until I meet until we meet again I'm gonna say bye, -bye.